I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand the second counting principle. The first one was the rule of product and this time we will understand what is rule of sum. Here is the definition. If first action can be performed in m ways and the second action can be performed in n ways and the first and second actions cannot be performed at the same time that is to say they are mutually exclusive they cannot be performed at the same time then there are m plus n ways in which either the first or the second action can be performed right so that is the rule of sum it is important to note that these two actions which we are talking about are mutually exclusive mutually exclusive means that they cannot be performed at the same time that is important to understand in that case there are m plus n ways in which either either means or right either the first or so this or is a very important keyword when you can apply rule of sum right so in this principle of counting we are looking for two things one that the events are mutually exclusive that is they are not performed at the same time and there there are options that means or operations being performed let me give you two examples to make it absolutely clear the first one is how many ways are there to select black face card or an ace and the second example here is rolling sum of either five or seven with two dice right now let's get back to the examples the first one here is how many ways are there to select black face card or an ace well what is a face card the face cards are jack queen and king right so these are the three face cards when we say how many ways are there to select black face cards so we could have uh, jack, king and queen of spades. We could have them of spades, right? We could also have jack, queen and king of clubs. Both are the suits with black face, correct? So how many ways are there to select black face cards or an ace? And how many aces are there? Well, there are four aces, correct? So there are four aces. So in that case, what we have in all will be add them up right so it is six plus four six plus four and that is equal to ten this is the rule very simple right now are these events mutually exclusive well if you draw a face card you cannot draw ace correct it is either a face card or an ace therefore these two events are mutually exclusive right and therefore when you say total number of ways for either that or this operation so that keyword is or we just add them up so there are six face cards with black faces and there are four aces so the total number of ways is six plus four which is ten i hope that's absolutely clear now the second one is kind of a difficult question rolling sum of either five or seven with two dice so i'm taking this opportunity to share with you how to do this kind of question also so when you roll one die you can get one two three four five or six right so these are the numbers which you could get so it's a six phase die okay so it's a six phase die let me just draw one here to make it absolutely clear what we're talking about let's say these are the faces right so okay so okay okay let me put two now so this is a six phase tie so one could give you numbers as one two three four five six the other could give you one two three four five six right now when you add them up and say sum right sum means the operation being performed is addition right so when you add them up what do you get so when you add them up let's fill this up 
So if I add 1 with 1, I'll get 2. If I add 1 with 2, I get 3. So I get here 4, 5, 6, and 7. If I add 2, I get 3. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. When I add 3, I get 4. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. By adding 4, I get 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And with 5, we get 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And with 6, we get 7, uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Right. So the maximum sum which we could have got is 12. Out of these, let's see how many are 5. How many are 5? So number 5, you can see, they will be diagonally placed. That's easy, right? And how many are 7? So let's circle 7s also. They are also diagonally placed. Okay. So to answer the question, what we need to do is just count them. Right? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5s. Right? So we'll say 4 plus how many 7s? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 plus 6. So the answer is 10 here. Right? That is how you need to answer such questions. Rule of sum is applied in this particular case since these two are mutually exclusive events. If you get 5, you cannot get 7. If you get 7, you cannot get 5. So they are mutually exclusive and therefore, when we want to know in how many ways we get either, right, either is a key word, means or, right, add them up. 6 plus 4 is 10. That's the answer. I hope with this the concept is absolutely clear and you'll be able to solve most of the questions from your book. The whole idea of my videos is to make you understand what is there in your books so that you can perform well and few tricky questions so that you can really score excellent marks. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.